Hello, everybody. I forgot to tell you the story of the young lady who was there next to her grandmother. Uh, it was priceless. The Lord asked me to lay, have her lay her hands on her grandmother when we prayed for her in Jesus' name so she can feel the warmth, the anointing go through her hands to give her a craving of the supernatural realm, something that uh, might not be seen everywhere we go, but I believe it can be, and I know it will be. So uh, after we got done praying for her grandmother, she was on the couch, and I took my hand, and I gently put it on her knee, and they were both facing me. She goes, ouch. I said, whoa, what do you got here? She said, have a Band-Aid. And the grandmother said, if you don't mind, can you go ahead and lift up your, your pants so he can see it where the Band-Aid was at? And so she rolled it back up and saw it. I said, are you telling me the same Jesus that just healed your grandmother can heal you all for the glory of God? I said, do you realize that? She I said, do you realize the same Jesus who healed that knot, the tumor that disappeared, and 100% healing of her ankle, of a brokenness, do you not think he can heal this for you too? She's like, yeah. I said, okay, let's pray. You just put your hand on front of your Band-Aid, and I'm going to pray. And I don't recall placing my hand upon her hand. <clears throat> so I just said, all right, here in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and had to do to repeat after me. We just commanded her to go right now in the name of Jesus. When she got done, she did something that I have never seen anybody do. I don't know if she felt the electricity of the anointing, the healing power and the virtues that flew out of, of that atmosphere and touched her, or whether or not she instantly felt all the pain left and felt nothing. I don't know those things. I wish I had the, the, the answers to those questions because those are after the fact that those things you really don't think about. Plus, we were being rushed to get back to um, a timeline that we were at. She took her right fist, just like that, folks, and went, bam, right on the Band-Aid. And the Band-Aid was like two inches by two inches. It wasn't a small little Band-Aid, you know, size of your finger. It wasn't a size of a finger Band-Aid. It was like more likely a size of three fingers across where the band-aid was at. And just took her fist. And before I knew it, my eyes was following her hand. And it went, Kuh! And that's the expression that I made. Like, uh, I know I said, don't go easy on me. <laughs> she literally as a child just took it. And boom, went down and did not squirm, did not jump, nothing. She was instantly healed. And afterwards, I got in the car. I said, honey, I know I tell people, don't go easy on me. I said, but here's the deal. I did not expect you to do that. I would rather have you take your hand and push on her lightly. But what she did just blessed my socks off. And so receive it by faith, your healing. And she received by her faith, not by sight, but the demonstration of what God did for her mother. And he can do it for you. So be blessed by this story. And let it tuckle your heart. Have a childlike faith. All unbelief go. Childlike faith stays. Amen. If you like our website, go to kingdomflameministries.com. Sign up on our news list. Or go to Kingdom Flame Ministries on our Facebook status and get updates as well there. We love you guys. Bye.